Well, I originally was born in Battle Creek, uh, and then when I was 10, we moved north of Battle Creek to Berry County and grew up on a farm and stayed there until I went on to college. So, country girl at heart. <laughs> Well, I think the most exciting part about doing the Ann Arbor with Stars is it's uh, you're actually doing a Dancing with the Stars. You've seen the show, you've seen the people go through what they go through to do the dance. And you, in the back of your mind, it's always like, that would really be fun to do. When it comes down to it and you're asked, you're thinking, no way, <laughs> then, then it's, it's, it, it's a challenge. It's another thing to conquer and it's going to be fun and it's representing the school. and. They know I'll do anything for them there, and this is proof of that, I believe. Mm. Waldorf education as a whole is just unbeatable. Um, we came to the school, I think this is our ninth year. Ben was in the second grade and Jake was in the fourth grade. And it's just, you see it, you feel it, you do it. I just feel it. Be the kids become such a well-rounded person. The Steiner education is it's unbeatable. What I found that I like most about the dancing is it was a whole lot more challenging. I shouldn't say than I thought it was going to be because I knew it was going to be challenging. But it's just I like to learn something new every year. I like to try something new whether it be a new sport or a new craft or you know something different. Um, uh, the dance was, you know, on my bucket list and I finally get to get it. <laughs> what I can tell you about Jeff Lee is that he's an extremely patient man with strong toes and knees at this point. Um, it's, uh, you're taking somebody that just doesn't have a clue. Natalia's been very helpful too. She comes to the practices and will demonstrate and a lot of times with me it's the scene of it and then being able to go with it from there. But it's, uh, you know, he's, he's putting a lot of his time into it and that's very much appreciated, you know. I think charitable giving is the key. I think what comes around goes around. I believe in paying it forward. Um, I have always uh, tried to give in any way that I can, whether it be of my time or a monetary or <laughs> nominating my kids, you're going to go over and do this. It's, uh, I think, the foundation of healthy living and um, the feeling of giving is a feeling that you can get in no other way other than participating. This past October, um, I went in partnership and uh, bought a gym out in Howell, Total Fitness Center. And it's just kind of seemed the right thing to do at the right point. The boys are very much involved. Uh, they work out there and not the fun stuff either. They're cleaning and working and counter work. And, and it's, um, it's, it's been a really neat aspect because I like to take kind of how the school is and how we do uh, Brighton Ford. I'm trying to do the same thing at the gym and create a community. I think that in a lot of aspects in the world today, there's so much disconnect, whether it be through technology and stuff. And just to reinstate humanity, I just, I think that that's really important. I think that that makes all the difference in the world. How can you have a well-rounded person and not have the arts? How can you, the drawing is an expression, the playing of an instrument, um, the movement, um, so many of those things have been taken out of school and are the first to get cut, but yet that's the basis of a well-rounded person. And when you're taking those forms of expression out of, you may as well talk to a computer. You know, it's, you, you have to have that in life. And, and to me, uh, with the arts, uh, you're allowing yourself to even contemplate things that you'll do later in life. You don't have to do them right now, but maybe you come back to them later on, on your free time, <laughs> if you're blessed to have it. So it's just, uh, I, I, it's imperative. I think it's imperative to a person as a whole. And when you take them away, it takes a big chunk of who that person might be out. I'm working real hard for Steiner. That's why you need to vote for me. 